Welcome back to Ag with Emma. If you're new here, my name is Emma. I do farm tours and farm hand work all over the place. I currently work in North Dakota running air seeders, grain carts, a bunch of other stuff that you can find in my videos in my channel. Today I'm in Austin, Texas with John Deere and we're going to show you some new equipment and new technology that was just released and we're going to get into a lot of detail and show you all the specifications and features of this new equipment. We're going to start off with the brand new 9RX. Some things we'll be discussing is the horsepower options, engine differences, and cab specifications, as well as just the exterior look that has changed. We'll also be getting into the Easy Cal system on the air cart and what has changed with that side of things, so I'm super excited to give you guys an overview of this. Let me know if you have any questions throughout the video. So the model we are demoing today is 830 horsepower, but they are coming out with a new line of 9RXs. There's a 710, 770, and an 830 option available. So if 830 isn't really your thing, but you're still looking for added horsepower, they do make 710s and 770s, and they are all autonomy ready at base in the U.S. when they are produced. Okay, so big differences. It looks a lot different from the hood point. Um, there's not the wheel wells that we have on the 9RXs. For example, look at that nice walk around platform. It's a little sunny, but there's a nice walk around all the way around this cab. Um, there's not that fuel tank that's sitting back there with huge wheel wells that impact your cab space. We're going to show you that in a little bit in the cab. These tracks are wider. They have another, we call those bogey wheels. I think they call that like a mid roller. They haven't added one of those, and then that top angles wider as well, so it has more capacity to pull all of the power out of that engine and really do what it needs to do. As far as a weight system, you have forklift-friendly weights instead of the suitcase weights that are normally attached to the front of those 9Rs. You can also have the option of putting weights right here on your tracks and then there's more added weights in the back also forklift friendly to get up to that 84,000 pounds as far as servicing goes there is a reversible fan on these so that means no more blowing out those radiators the servicing door is right here so you're going to check all that inside oil, filters, all right there. This one is a little dinged up because it's off the production line and been used in demos and engineering purposes. And then if you should ever have to remove these shields, um, they're easy to do that. Looking at the side of the tractor right here, you have everything is ground access. Your air filter is gonna be right here. If you have a fast fill, um, you can hook that up right there. So it might not be common on a lot of farms to have that fast fill because it is a system used on the X9s. But if you're running a bunch of X9s, that is an available option now for the fuel tanks. Your fuel is ground fill. I'm standing on the ground. It's not up there anymore. So that's right there. And then your fuel sight gauge is right here as well. Your hydraulic sight glass is right up here. And then there's a couple more sight glasses for that transmission fluid. And then just to show you better from inside the cab, there is your engine coolant sight gauge. So in an effort to minimize servicing time in the morning and getting ready to go, um, all of those gauges are pretty accessible. You don't have to lift the hood up to check your coolant. You don't have to blow your radiators out because there's that reversible fan. You can also set that fan up to be automatic or just an instant, like, blow it out. So if you have it set on automatic, you can set it to an X amount of minutes between blowouts. And then if you have a just set instant blowout, you can also do that from the cap. Another big factor that has kind of changed is these stairs. It looks more like an 8 Series tractor instead of the straight up steps. These have more of an angle and they're a lot more user friendly. You don't have to jump so far to get to the ground. Got some nice mirrors up there. Lights. very wide. As far as width goes, it is 88 inch track spacing from the center of this track to the center of that track. There is also an option for the wide track. 
and that will be 120 inches from each track. There's 30 or 36 inch track options. And while they do not have an automation system to bring that hood up, check that out. Same system, but with handles. Perfect. nice <laughs> when you come to the back of the tractor there's a little handy dandy camera right there for hooking up your implement so this spring and this fall when i was making videos of hooking everything up to tractors and i had to get out of the cab i didn't video that but i was getting out of the cab like 10 15 20 times to make sure i was lined up when i was lining stuff up by myself um that camera eliminates that for the most part and there's also improved visuals to the back because that big fuel tank is not sitting right in the middle of that. You can see basically directly down to the back of your tractor. This is also a tractor that has triple hydraulic pumps and it can go up to 168 gallons of hydraulic fluid per minute. And that is where those pumps are located. Another awesome thing about this tractor, there is no def fluid on it. So when I was running through all of that earlier, there's no def, no diesel exhaust fluid. It has a newer engine that is approved to not have the def system. And something we'll talk about a little bit more inside the cab, there is a cab suspension system that is pretty close and resemblant to the cab suspension system on those new eight RXs, rather than having just the two in the back on the old 9RXs. Up to it, we have a N560F drill. So this is a disc drill. Like so. And then we have a C850T cart. So this is a new naming system for John Deere. Um, this is going to indicate the series, this is going to indicate the bushel capacity, and then this is T or L meaning trailing or leading. So depending on if you have a tow between or a tow behind cart like this one is. So the breakdown of that is it's a C series 850 bushel trailing cart. This is also a new calibration system with tank scales included. This is a screen they have set up on these new air carts. This is gonna, how you're going to do an easy cow. So this just shows how easy it is to start this calibration. This is also something that you can walk away from while it's happening um, because everything is set and ready to go. Your weights are going to be accurate no matter the wind because it has scales on that calibration system. Once you hit start, it's going to roll your meters to make sure everything's full and ready to go. And then that's what it's doing right now. And then your calibration is going to start right now. While this is running, you can completely walk away from it to continue whatever else you need to do while you're filling seed. Um, that's going to just keep rolling with or without you. It's going to show you the revolutions and weight to calculate your new MVD. And then there is where the scale is at, that little silver piece. And then you have your options for different rollers. We obviously have the wheat roller selected right now. It also has a good roller option for fertilizer, as well as any other crop that you put through an air seeder. Once it's done calibrating, you don't have to mess with anything. You just hit enter. It's going to shoot that up to the tractor so you can have your values all plugged in. As soon as you get back in, there's no running back and forth trying to remember numbers and redoing things and calibrating and then calibrating again. So I really like that new system and it was super handy to use.
are going to get up in this cab now. Look at how easy those steps are. Easy peasy. And the cab space, I don't think the camera quite can't can't quite the camera can't quite capture like how much bigger it is and just how different this is from those traditional 9RXs that we've been running. Um, the screen differences, this is a G5 Plus. And then the secondary option, there's also a new display for your fuel and RPMs and everything like that. Steering wheel is set updated, air vents, you got your pegs, those are nice. Another peg. Um, the seat is turny better. <laughs> And then your fridge is up in here. So this is what those displays look like turned on. It's more, there's more space. It looks more like an iPad to me compared to our screens that we run on the farm in North Dakota. Um, there's quite a few options. So from going outside into the display, here's what that looks like on the seating page. Um, you have your blower speed, active calibration, so you don't actually have to get out of the tractor to calibrate your seeder. So for example, like when we're doing flowers, we have to calibrate every couple hours. With the active calibration, we can do that from inside the cab without having to get out, empty into the bags, put the bags on the top, and then make sure it's all right and have it, you know, get all messed up because now it can active calibrate. You do have to stop to start the active calibration and then it will run a certain amount of acres to get an accurate reading on that calibration and then it can adjust your MDB. So that's all your totals, active calibration, your true set is still here, um, blockage monitoring, and then what your tanks are putting out, how much they have left. A cool thing about these scales on the tank is that it's going to show you inside your cab how many acres you have left in that tank. So instead of playing the guessing game, you don't have to have cameras back there. It's all going to be accurate and up to par with how much seed you're putting out and how much with your calibrations that it changes. And then it's going to give you, like I said, that acre rate per tank that you have left on your rates. So to start that active calibration, you're just going to be in your main page and hit start. You're going to go to your main tank and then hit start. So that is going to start counting as soon as we start going. So that's going to be in progress and it will stop or tell us to stop when it reaches the specified acre recommendation to get an accurate calibration. So the transmission in this tractor is a new transmission. It's not the IVT and it's not a traditional power shift. It's got an E21 transmission in it so that's going to allow you to get up to speed way faster. So when you want to start seating, you're going to turn on your fans, you have a fixed and a rate based, and I'll get into that rate based a little later, and click out of that. So we are putting seed in the ground right now. Here is what I was talking about a few seconds ago with that rate base. This map goes based off of prescriptions, so you're going to see different colors on there. It's going to be able to change in your drill how much you're putting out of each tower based on that prescription. So you can see that in the flow of your towers. And then back in your home page, you're going to see that the active calibration is still working. We're still seeding. And then we can click into our seed star. And then you can go into diagnostics and calibration, meters. And then this is what's showing you how much is going down based on this map. So you're gonna see there, it changes based on the color. You're gonna see these numbers fluctuate. So right down there, it was just at 12, it's at six now, based on where that's at. It's in the red, so those numbers are lower. It's starting to go into the green. You're gonna see that up there. You're gonna see those numbers rise as that is going up. So back here, we're hitting our target. And that's the RPM of the meters. So those meters are going to have to spin a little faster or slower based on what prescription area that we're in. And then there is the rate map for the prescription base. So that's pretty cool. That's not something that we've really seen with 
drills before. Normally when we are working with drills, um, your agronomists are going to make recommendations in 60 foot swaths because, or just however many foot your drill is, that's what they're going to make the recommendation in because we haven't had that zone control with the air seeders. So now that the tractor is stopped, we're only at two acres, so that's not going to be as accurate, but we're just going to hit calculate on that active calibration. It's going to give us a new MDV with a change percentage, and I was told that if it's under 5% change, that's mostly pretty good and it's pretty accurate. Um, so that is how your active calibration works. You just have to be stopped when you start and stopped when you finish it. So this is what you use 800 horsepower for. It's going 14 miles an hour, 1700 RPMs, pulling a 40 foot disc, which is built for high speed performance. Oh, it's got a downshift. horsepower comes from pulling drills up hills. Most of the time in Canada, Montana, when you're going up grades and you're not able to fill your cart all the way, so your air cart is not going to be full of seed. When you can fill that tank, that's going to make the horsepower worth it and you can pull up those hills at an increased speed as well as the efficiency of having a full tank. Huge shout out to John Deere for letting us come out here today and look at this new equipment. It's been an absolute blast. They've treated us very well. We've all got to film a lot of cool stuff. This is something that not everyone gets to do and I'm super grateful for the opportunity and that I'm able to be here thanks to my subscribers and followers as well. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and helping me get to this point.